His name is Zong Man. He is a fisherman. Well, in fact, his comrades do the fishing. He has taught them to bring back fish. All the fishermen here do that. But Zong Man is well known in the region. His birds catch the biggest fish in the river. He's trained them for that. Zong Man raises a young cormorant each year. He wants it to be better than all the others, so he needs an egg, and not just any egg. Zong Man has his little secrets, surprising secrets. Twelve cormorants, all males. The eldest is called Gimpy. He was the best fisher for years. Underwater, he could see a long, long way. That one's called the son of Gimpy. Redfeather and his brother have always been like that. Zong Man can't do anything about it. That one's sleepy. When he's not fishing, he sleeps. Then there's Escaper and Dancer. They can each pull out eight to ten pounds of fish a day. Yeah. But the best one this year, the one who brings back the biggest fish, is Mao. Zongman wants Mao to sire the next generation and plans to arrange a marriage. Mao was brought up with Zongman's grandson. You have to learn the cormorant's language very young, because later you can't understand a thing. And since the birds are roguish, it's better for them to learn to respect you when they're young. Mao and the child have played, eaten and slept together since they were born. Zongman was raised like that too. Mao is the descendant of a great cormorant family. Cormorant fishing is a tradition as old as China itself. In former times, it was the emperor who granted permission to fish. Nowadays, it's enough for your family to have the name Wang. All the cormorant fishermen are Wangs.
Whenever Zhong Man is looking for a female cormorant, he comes to Wang Jinji's. Wang Jinji is too old to fish himself, so he is a cormorant matchmaker. <laughs> With cormorants, short affairs never produce anything. The eggs never open. Only love matches produce beautiful children. For Zongman says the female that'll make Mao happy should be gentle and enterprising. Cormorants can stay underwater for two minutes and dive to 80 feet. Mao instinctively knows where the fish are hiding and Zongman trusts him. Sometimes a cormorant goes too far off and gets lost. But cormorants always return to the place they were born. And these were born at Zongman's. The cormorants eat a part of the catch, the family another part, and the rest is sold. Here are two females from a good family, especially for Mao. It's up to him to choose. <laughs> Th 
Things go pretty fast with cormorants. And the one who's not chosen takes it like a trooper. This female is called Celestial Princess. She'll surely give the young king a lot of pleasure. Zongman has arranged a house away from prying eyes for the loving couple. He'll have eggs in five days. Mao can stay with his princess as long as he wants. Zongman says that that's the custom. He'll be back as soon as he's had enough. But not everyone agrees with the custom. Cormorants take a couple of hours to build their nests. They use whatever they find at the bottom of the river. Everyone's got a job to do. Mao works, and Celestial Princess watches. Mm. 
Songman lets his birds rest and dry off every hour or so. Fishing can last all night, sometimes into morning. Oh, The eggs aren't all good, but Zongman knows how to recognize the best. He can even tell a male egg from a female egg. For these wild birds to get used to man, they have to be born near him. Zongman takes the eggs from the nest and gives them to a hen, preferably a lazy one already sitting on her own eggs. The hen will sit on Mao's egg for 25 days. Zongman doesn't like waiting. So every year he sets out in search of new fishing places. He has to give half of his catch to the village's chief where he fishes. No one knows why, but every year at this time the fish gather in the deepest parts of the river. All the fishermen come with their birds. Oh, yeah. 
啊，姐姐，好喜欢啊。Songman has to get back home. He's got to be there for the hatching of his egg. If the hen sees that a switch has been made, she might attack the newborn bird as it comes out of its shell. Zongman takes the egg some ten hours before it's due to hatch, and keeps it at the correct temperature. Hmm. Now begins a long two-month period of watching for Zongman. He has to feed the young cormorant every hour and ensure that he doesn't get too hot or too cold. For the first eight days, Zongman wants no one near the baby bird. He doesn't leave it for a second. He doesn't sleep. He can't sleep. He doesn't want to sleep. He'll only come out at the end of the week. As soon as the little bird can walk, he'll follow Zongman and hide in his boots. In two months, he will go with the big birds on the boat and watch them fishing. In two years, he'll be a great fisher. He'll fish for Zongman for twenty years, and if he's good, he'll get married too. And when he is old, Zongman will give him rice liquor, so that his death will be gentle. Zongman's family has lived like this for a thousand years, and there's no reason to change. Thank <laughs> you.